I think we're good. Evening. My name is Toby the Great, and today, 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 we will be building Tinder. So I won't get too much into like how Tinder works, at least from like a user perspective. My role and my goal in this stream is to address it from a software engineering design perspective and specifically to talk about and design and implementation of the algorithm that many claim is under the hood that powers its dating app on depend which determines which um which profiles get shown over others and whether or not people get uh what's the term shadow shadow band or like put at the like bottom of the queue what we're gonna we're gonna address all of that all of that don't worry all of that will be addressed basics and fundamentals clear before you actually jump into uh so what this is i'll give a um brief introduction this is an individual who is describing how to design tinder in terms of the system architecture so this is a bit more this is a bit lower level and a bit more detailed than we'll be going in for this stream but i just want to pick up any key um details or anything that we can uh have that we're going to include here so we're not going to go too in depth on this so i'm just going to like you know um skip through and Actually, make sure that we're getting the key information here so I'll note here that I agree with what he's saying and also that for the purposes of this stream, we'll be focused on the first two points that he's highlighting, having a store of record for all the profiles created as well as the match recommendation. So I'll actually skip ahead here. Server is gonna be the source of truth, meaning that in terms of knowing who's matched with who, we're not gonna depend on the profiles themselves to know who matched with who. The server, or some larger entity that's a level up is going to inform the profiles individually or respectively that they have acquired a match with the people that they swiped right on. So that's important. I completely forgot about that. But then there was a problem. So I guess what he is um, explaining is the dilemma with a dating app. And I guess we don't need to really get into the uh, gender specifics here. But uh, I want to go back to that main point, designing an algorithm where you want to optimize the user's experience and make their time e efficient while they're on the app, meaning that you want to show them the people that they're most likely to want to meet and want to match with in a short amount of time as possible. So during their time on the app, you want to showcase uh, like in the first initial like few minutes or few moments you want them to see profiles that they're most likely to swipe on. So this has the keywords of recommendation, ranking, and I think it's gonna go more in depth here. But yeah, this is interesting stuff. This is what this is what we're looking for here. This is the real juicy. This is the juice. Get into that. Okay, I think we got everything. I think we're good. I think we're good. This is great. I'm glad we watched this. This is good. This is good. Great video. Great video. Uh by Online for Love. Man. Oh my gosh. So much promotion. But hey. Okay. So we got our profile here. We got our name um, and the other factors. We're not going to worry about like gender, age, all that. We're going to think about what are the inputs that are going to um, be necessary for the development of a recommendation algorithm. We need to have some sort of inputs, like what's going to cause individual users, ELO or respective ranking or desirability to change. Okay, nice. We got Billy, profile ELO of nine, 982. Kylie, Arlen, Kathy, Kippy, Guilem, Guillema, Eleanor, Dulce, and Joby, and Nana. Cool, so our profile generator is working. So the next thing that we may want to work on is 
maybe more of the feed. We don't care about your swipe lefts though. Your swipe lefts don't really, isn't important for the ELO. Um, as the guy in the video that we watched a little earlier mentioned, um, if um, people are swiping right on you, or if you're swiping right on a lot of people, we may, that may affect the ELO score. So let's, uh, let's bring these over. So yep, Megan is the first in the list with a ELO of 9.05. Megan, then you have Amali with 8.96. You have Bella, 8.01. Kami, 7.77. Camille, Camille, 5.07. Audi, 3.93. Erica, 2.85. Melinde, Melind, 132. And Easter, 125. Lorin Loriana 45. Nice, nice, nice. Our feed works. Our feed works. This is beautiful. This is lovely. 1000. What I'm thinking of as an extension that we won't work on here is to make the ELO boost more, um, more substantial. The lower ELO you have, like maybe have some sort of additional multiplier, the lower um, you are, and also reduce the boost at a higher um, ELO, the higher ELO you have reduced the impact of the boost. And of course, also what we can do is have your ELO be affected by the ELO of the person that you swipe on. Maybe we'll do that tonight. I'll see how it is, how the other parts look like. Update ELO. Okay, so that's why we have the ELO, the, the profiles here. The feed is just a transformation of the internal profiles list. The profiles list never changes. It doesn't change. Um, it doesn't change. We're not adding or removing it, or we, we could add more profiles, but um, the feed is the thing that's transforming and that's what's being shown to each user. Oh, you know what? Like we actually can't still, we have to, we have to use the actual variable because this is just, this just saves what system that profiles is at the time. Um, and it doesn't save any of the updates like this variable. I mean, so we just have to just go with using system that profiles itself. The um, music bot that I use is uh, very helpful. Honestly, it's called um, what's it called? Pretzel rocks and it plays DMCA free music, which is the main reason why I like it. But um, I haven't found a way to like whitelist it so that Nightbot doesn't immediately ban it. And because I'm using the free version of it, it'll always kind of like post the song as well as the link in the chat every time the song changes. Oh, that's fine because the profiles aren't ordered. They are not ordered. What we have to do is the last thing we're gonna do on stream because I am tired is um, figure out how to do the swipe update the swipe counts Annabelle 356 651 it's not going to be ordered because we're just printing out the list of profiles and after swiping Annabelle swiped right on everyone oh I forgot we should also um not swipe on yourself so uh So we're going to do that and should swipe right in the profile. Let's just quickly do that. Oh, even the updated feed works too. Nice. So I think that is a great place to leave off. What we did in the last three and a half hours. I know we started sh no, the stream timers at almost four hours. But yeah, this was cool. Uh, thank you for anybody that uh, tuned into the stream for any length of time. And uh, yeah, I'm tired. So I'm going to head out now.